Hey, Mike here, Mike's House of Mods. Welcome to my channel. I hope you like it. In today's video, I'm actually going to do something a little bit different. I'm kind of waiting around for the tune to be done. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be done this week for my turbo build. Uh, but in the meantime, I figured, you know what? I haven't cleaned my car for a while, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that on my Saturn Sky. Um, but I'm not going to pull the car out and just do a regular car wash like uh, that would be probably one of the most boring uh, videos to do. But what I am going to do is kind of uh, clean some chrome. Now, we all know that. There's not a whole lot of chrome on the Saturn Sky or the Solstice unless you have the chrome wheels, which I do not have. Um, but I do have the chrome exhaust tips that I installed whenever I put in the new um, uh, exhaust system. And they look gorgeous whenever I first put them on. Right now they look absolutely hideous, which is, uh, I guess, after a couple years of neglect for you uh, purists out there that clean your cars every day, you're probably going to hate what you see. But mine are looking pretty bad um, and instead of just kind of cleaning them and showing how to clean them I figured you know what I'm going to take a couple of different products and I am going to test them so I have four uh, chrome cleaning type products that uh, I got recommended to on Facebook so I bought them and we're going to try them and thankfully I actually have four separate chrome tips that I can clean so I'm going to go ahead and clean each one of them with each product and we're going to see which one is going to win the chrome challenge the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, even though I don't have the full tune for my turbo, I do have a kind of a bass tune on there so I can start it up and I can bring it out and pull it in the driveway to get a little bit better uh, to do. So as we can see, um, actually you can maybe hear some kids playing in the background. Uh, you might even hear some lawn mowers, but that's fine. So uh, let me go and start this baby up, pull it out in the garage and start cleaning. Alright, let's take a look at the contenders and these are in no particular order. I've never used any of them. So uh, this is going to be a kind of a nice test for me as well. But looking at what we have here, we have the Eagle One Neverdoll. We have the P21S. We have the Mother's Mag, Alumin Mag and Aluminum Polish. And then we have the Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleaner. All right, so now I'm going to show you what these uh, four cleaners are going to be up against as far as the chrome tip challenge. Here they are. They used to be really nice and shiny and clean, and now they're dull and tarnished and everything else. There's a two on the one side, and to show you that they're all going to get an equal amount of challenge, there's a two on the other side, nice and dull, and looking quite nasty, actually. So... I'm going to go and start off by cleaning them just with so regular soap and water just to get any regular dirt, dirt off of there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and try each one. All right, so first up we're going to try the Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. Removes um, I don't know, rust, lime, stains, tarnish, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, what they're basically saying is to put this uh, put a little dab of this on a damp uh, cloth sponge or whatever and uh, rub it in uh, and then wipe it off within a minute and I'm not sure it might actually take extra applications or not we will we'll soon find out so I'm gonna try this on the first tip Check this out, I'm actually quite impressed. It came out, I mean, it got rid of a lot of the tarnish and everything else, and obviously the dirt and stuff that was on there as well. And um, I know it's kind of hard to tell because there's not a lot of, to look at there, but uh, in person, here, let me get a better side shot, maybe that'll help. That is not too bad. I uh, kind of missed underneath of there, but that was my fault. But the stuff that I got looks pretty good. So next up is going to be, the um, Eagle One Never Doll. I'm going to do it on this tip over here, and let's take a look at that. Let's see if we can see how dirty it is. I know it's kind of, like I said, hard to tell based on where we are, but it is looking pretty dull. 
as well. Get a side shot here, kind of. But uh, I'm gonna try that out, and hopefully that works even better than the barkeeper's one. Well, this is interesting. Just basically has these little wad things in here, and it says you take them out, trim off a small portion of the wadding, and rub it to the surface until all dirt's removed. Finish the uh, surface by buffing with a small of the soft dry cloth. All right, let's see what happens. This is the first time I ever kind of dealt with something like this. Didn't see this coming. <laughs> Alright, so here's the results with the Never Doll. Um, it's not, to be honest, it's not as good as the uh, Barkeeper's one, but uh, it did okay, I guess. I mean, I know it's kind of a difficult uh, location for the um, for cleaning it, but hey, I was still able to get in there just as much as the uh, as the Barkeeper's one. Uh, I know the lighting's not that great here, but um, out of these two, I would say the Barkeeper uh, one is a little bit better than the um, the Never Doll. So uh, I think out of these two, I would go with the, uh, the barkeeper one so far. So let's go and try the other two. All right, here is the other side. Again, both of them are pretty much equally dull and dirty and grimy. And what I'm gonna try on the inside one here is the Mother's um, Mag and Aluminum Polish. And according to their directions, you put a small amount of polish on a soft, clean microfiber or terry cloth tile. Uh, buffer pad or some kind of applicator and then you work back Work the black residue in all directions adding a small amounts of polish as needed use sparingly and then you buff it off when you're done so uh, That is what I'm going to do on this center one here. So hopefully we get some pretty good results with this one as well All right, this is more of a paste I've got my microfiber tile. Let's go ahead and put some on there and then Start rubbing it in. Okay, so it looks like the mothers didn't do too bad of a job. Um, and again, I know it's kind of hard to see just because of where the location is for this tip, but um, looking at it, it's uh, definitely cleaner than the one I got to clean next, but uh, it's kind of similar to the barkeeper's one as well, but um, hard to tell right now, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So let me go and finish this last one, and the last one is going to be with the, uh, the P21S, and it is a polishing soap, so it says, um, and I'm sure it's kind of the same thing. I'll read the directions and I'll do it on there. We're going to do it on this one and hopefully it does a good job too. Alright, with this one it is saying to ensure it's cool to the touch and make sure there's no dirt and oil and that kind of stuff on there. Uh, and you're supposed to test it in a small inconspicuous area, which I'm not going to do. Uh, you basically wet the sponge that's included and uh, wring it out and you dab it in the polish that's in the bottle here and then you rub it on there and then you buff it. So it's kind of like a regular wax that you would uh, do on a normal job. So. Um, that sounds easy enough, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I want you to make it like a soapy kind of thing going on here.
tell you what, I'm not going to lie. That looks really good. That almost looks brand freaking new. Okay, that is definitely going to be a really good one here. And I think a lot of it probably has to do with the applicator that they give you. It's a little bit coarse, even though it's soft. But it's a little bit coarse, and it was really easy to even get around the edge of the tips here. Well, these other ones, I mean, I scrubbed a little bit, but I could be here all day uh, to eventually get those. But probably because it's as coarse, uh, that came out really nice and clean. And uh, that looks really good. In fact, you know what? I'm going to try to use it on this one, which I originally used the Mother's, and see if I can clean that up even better than it was. All right, so I literally took about two minutes and used the, um, what is this? P21S on this tip here that I originally used the Mother's, and it cleaned that up so much nicer than the, uh, than the Mother's did. So that is definitely uh, a good product to use. All right, I'm gonna go and give you my final thoughts on these products and tell you which one I believe is the winner. All right, let's see who came in last place uh, and then we'll work our way up to first place as far as my choices. And in last place of the four is the Eagle One Never Doll. I uh, really didn't do that great of a job to be honest with you. And it kind of had an unconventional um, way of cleaning where you pull out the, you know, whatever that little uh, cloth stuff they have in there, you tear it off and you clean it with that. Uh, and actually the Never Doll happens to be the cheapest one that's out here. Uh, as well, so that uh, might be part of the problem. It could be better, maybe if you're using it on a, a mag wheel or something that doesn't need super duper clean, maybe more of like a maintenance kind of a thing. But as far as uh, an actual cleaning something that looks kind of nasty, uh, the Never Doll is really not the best. And in third place, we have Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Um, again, it probably had the same effect as the Never Doll did, which came in fourth place. Uh, it was a little bit more expensive than the uh, than the Never Doll, maybe by a dollar or two, uh, but it still didn't really go down and, and do that deep cleaning, which what I needed on those uh, those aluminum tips that are the chrome tips that I had there. Again, it's probably good for mag wheels that you want to maintain that aren't too um, that aren't too shabby to begin with. You just kind of want to do it every uh, every month or every week or however often you clean your car. It's probably a good choice because it is inexpensive, but as far as really cleaning something up nice, it's nasty that is uh, coming in third place. Now in second place is the Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised about this one because uh, it almost looks like one of these that will clean just about anything out there, cookware, kitchen, bathroom. Never really said anything specific about being a, uh, a wheel chrome cleaner or any kind of specific chrome cleaner, but it did uh, a much better job than, uh, than like I thought. Uh, it is the, actually, it's in th uh, second place and actually be the second uh, highest expensive or second most expensive one that's out there as well. Did a pretty good job and it was very easy to apply and very easy to use, which is, gives it another bonus. And in first place is the P21S. It did an incredible job. Uh, I was extremely impressed with, uh, with how it easily cleaned up that last exhaust tip that I was working on. And, and like I said, they were all pretty much tarnished the way they were. This one did a fantastic job with it. And a lot of it did have to do, I believe, with that scrubber pad that they give you. It's a little bit rough, um, almost like a, uh, not an SOS pad, but uh, like a kind of a bristle, but, it's, but when you feel it, it's actually pretty soft to the touch. So uh, it's definitely not abrasive, but it's abrasive enough to really clean up a lot of that grime um, that's, on your, uh, that's on those tips. So. Uh, this is definitely the winner. Congratulations to P21S. And I will be posting links to all of these products down below in the, uh, in the description so you can uh, try them out for yourself. And that wraps up this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any comments, please post them below. Also smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and be sure to check out my website, uh, mikeshouseofmods.com if you want some cool shirts and things like I'm wearing right here uh, as well. I'm posting new stuff up there all the time. Uh, if you have any suggestions on something you want me to review or try to use on my uh, on my car, or I have an Explorer too, and we even have a Ford Fusion. So, uh, if you have any kind of uh, product you want me to check out and, uh, and make a video of, please post it in the comments below. And until then, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish those other two tips with the uh, P21S product, and uh, that's it. Call it a day.